Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on Bree. Bree is a tank who focuses on accumulating Fawn stacks, as well as buffing allies and increasing damage through crack stacks. Unlocking Bree can take a little over an hour to do. To start, you complete Act 1 and navigate to the blue portal. In the blue world, you navigate to the grove at the top of the map. When you're at the grove, you accept the quest and then complete the act as normal. You then have to progress all the way through Act 3 and the first half of Act 4. Once you are on the upper level of Act 4, you navigate to the garden at the very top and select Dig. And this will then unlock Bree. When building perks on Bree, I like to go for a 25 25 0 0. I like to maximize my tankiness and have a little bit of extra energy on the general tab. And on the physical tab, I like to increase the number of fawn stacks I apply, as well as the extra talent of making sure that fawns do not lose charges when hit. I like to maximize my crack stacks. On the fortify section, I like to make sure that you start with one fortify, which because of the previous talent, it means that you start with two fortify so that you don't have to worry early on about retaining your armor through the early turns. Bree's starting item is called Forest Banner, which applies a little bit of speed at the start of combat. Her passive is called Spiky, which at the start of combat gives you five stacks of fawns. Bree's starting deck consists of three intercepts, two intimidates, three pommels, the unique card of Standard Bearer, which heals and buffs the team, two invigorating blows, three spike shields, and a battle shout. When adding cards to Breeze deck, I like to add a barbed wire, a guard to make sure that I can keep on top of fortify stacks, a helping hand, which is just a really helpful card for the team, and a repair armor. When removing cards, I like to remove an intercept, an invigorating blow because I think they're quite expensive, one of my spike shields and another intercept as well because I'm going to be upgrading the repair armor to be zero cost. Speaking of upgrades, the majority of upgrades are really expensive for Bree, so I only really upgrade two things. Upgrading the pommels is not really worth it because you don't get any extra stacks of crack, but I do like to upgrade the helping hand to remove bombs because you see quite a lot of them in the game. I also don't upgrade the barbed wire because I've got lots of fawns generation already. And as mentioned earlier, I upgrade the repair armor to make it zero cost. But it's up to you what you want to upgrade. I don't tend to upgrade much for Bree. When you're in the shop, because Bree is the main tank, I like to look for something tanky like the veteran armor. Or just to increase my damage a little bit, the flail here works really well with Bree as well. When adding a pet, I like to either go for the bunny or for the harpy, just for the extra dispel and to help the team out a little bit. It depends on how much gold you have. When playing Bree, you want to maximize your fawn stacks and maximize the amount of crack stacks you apply to enemies, as well as being quite tanky at the same time. The cars pretty much play themselves and you want to just support your team where you can. You can see in this clip that just because of these fawn stacks on Bree, the amount of damage these sheep are taking is just crazy. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and stay tuned for more Across the Obelisk content. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.